my shepherd There is nothing I shall want Fresh and green are the pastures Where he gives me repose Near restful waters he leads me To revive my true Welcome to Our Lady of Lourdes Church, Kalyan East. The Lord says to Simon Peter, I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail, and once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of the chair of Peter. Who sits on the chair? The Holy Father sits on the chair and conducts the affairs of the church in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that the Holy Spirit may guide him, instruct him to do, to advance the kingdom of God here on earth. To celebrate this Eucharist in a worthy manner, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I, I confess, confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to, to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
we have purified ourselves let us now glorify the lord grant we pray almighty god that no tempest may disturb us for you have set us fast on the rock of the apostle peter's confession of faith through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen A reading from the first letter of Saint Peter. Beloved, I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed. Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight not under compulsion, but willingly. as god would have you not for shameful gain but eagerly not domineering over those in your charge but being examples to the flock and when the chief shepherd appears you will receive the unfading crown of glory the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god, god. Our response to the psalm is, "The Lord is my shepherd; there is nothing I shall want." Kindly repeat, "The Lord is my shepherd; there is nothing I shall want." The Lord is my shepherd; there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where He gives me repose. Near restful waters He leads me; He revives my soul. Our response: "The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd." shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I shall, shall want. want. He guides me along the right path 
for the sake of his name. Though I should walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. Your crook and your staff will give me comfort. Our response. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I shall want. want. You have prepared a table before me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Our response. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is nothing, nothing I shall want. want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for length of days unending. Our response, The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. there is nothing, nothing I, I shall, shall want. want. Kindly rise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, when Jesus had come into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Marjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We see Jesus raising two questions to his disciples at Caesarea Philippi. The place is important, the questions are very valid. Caesarea Philippi was an area scattered with the temple of the ancient Syrian Baal worship. At Caesarea Philippi, there was a great temple of marble stone in which Caesar worship dominated the might and divinity of Rome. Thus the place is important. In the very first place, there was pagan worship. Real God was not worship. And secondly, a human being was worshipped as God. Against this backdrop, Jesus sets the background against the world religions. In all their history and their splendor and demanded them to be dominated, compared with them and to have the verdict given in his favor. The timing is important because Jesus had already set or fixed his eyes on to his journey to Jerusalem where he would undergo shameful death to be raised back to life on the third day. The first question is, who do the others say that I am? Jeremiah, Elijah, John the Baptist. When they arrived at the scene, it was considered that the kingdom of God 
was very near. In reply to the second question, who do you say that I am? A very personal question addressed to each one of us. We can have, all have a different image of Christ. To the architect, he is the chief cornerstone. To the banker, he is the hidden treasure. To the baker, he is the living bread. To the doctor, he is the great physician. To the educator, he is the great teacher. To the geologist, he is the rock of all ages. To the philosopher, he is the wisdom of God. To the student, he is the incarnate truth. To the toiler, he is the giver of rest. To the sinner, he is the lamp of God who takes away the sins of the world. To the Christian, he is the son of the living God, the saviour, redeemer and lord. Thus, we get a clear picture of Jesus from the, through the eyes of the four evangelists, Mark, Luke, Matthew, John. All men are God's great gift to mankind. But Christ is God's self-gift to us. Therefore, our faith tells us, if Socrates is wise, Christ is the wisdom. If Buddha is illumined, Christ is the light. If Muhammad is the prophet, Christ is the word. Like Moses, all these men serve God as servants. But Christ did it as his very own son. Therefore, the essence of Christianity is Peter's declaration as Caesarea Philippi. You are the son of God. You are the Christ, the son of the living God. Who is Jesus to me? And who is my Jesus. Style, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed I, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church, and with Saint Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that he holds the faith in its integrity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for on the feast of the chair of Peter, you bid your church rejoice, and so you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of teaching, preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis of Pope, Oswald, gracious bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ you said to your apostles peace i give you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who are called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed we now make our spiritual communion with the lord o lord jesus since i cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence i beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever o jesus living in mary come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power in the communion of your mysteries in the perfection of your ways o divine guest give to my soul a strong lively faith an unbounded trust perfect humility an abiding sorrow for my sins a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine Lord Jesus thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion Peter said to Jesus You are the Christ the son of the living God and Jesus replied you are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church let us pray O God who at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed apostle Peter have nourished us by communion in the body and bread of Christ grant we pray that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father son and the holy spirit descend upon you and remain with you now and forever amen this celebration of the eucharist is now ended we are sent forth to love and serve the lord thanks be to god prayer for relief from the corona virus almighty and merciful god who show your love to all creation everywhere hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the corona virus in various parts of the world we come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak 
for a healing of those affected for the victims and their families we thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine we pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all we pray for doctors nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts we pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through christ our lord amen Show.